Hey everyone, so um, I've been getting a lot of requests from students to ask how to animate a dog or a creature or something uh, walking forwards. You know, a lot of the animation tutorials online are uh, with a dog or character just walking on the spot. So I wanted to show you how to do that. There's a couple of things to know. Um, we would have to change... So if... Okay, so... Basically, you want the main controller to move forward and the, these controllers to sort of stay in place, right? And not slide over the floor like that. But each one of those Z curves on these controllers, they, uh, they um, don't exactly have the... This is, this is the speed. So this is the contact position frame one and then the exit frame and the same for the other foot contact and exit frame. So this angle is what we are trying to make match the actual speed that the dog would move forward. It's quite a tricky thing to to uh, think about, but let me let me simplify it for you. So we have the main controller, and what we want to do is just select. If you have a character that's just on the spot and you want it to walk forward, all of a sudden, click uh, click the root controller, and then go into your viewport options on the left here. And I always split uh, two panes side by side. And I'll just go into the right view. I'm just going to hide the dome. And uh, I'll take this one into perspective. And just let me just clean everything up here for you. And let's pop some lights back on. And let me turn the grid on here. And I'm going to just look at one of the feet. And I'm going to say, so I'll look at this foot first. I'm going to look at this one. And we're going to work on that one just to start off with in the beginning okay so you have the foot framed just frame it make sure it's in the viewport on your left and then select your root controller okay then we go to the translation of Z find the moment when the the foot is actually translating on its own curve down so it's going it's 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 hit the entry position and it's going towards the exit position so on on this line you probably don't need these keys but on this line that's where you want to be doing this calculation. So you'll select the root controller and we'll go to, let's say frame, um, let's say frame nine and I'm going to key selected this uh, controller and then I will go to 10 and I'll set another key on it. And I'm going to animate against the feet. So the feet are moving backwards, but I want to move the root controller forwards to uh, accommodate for that foot moving backwards, if that makes sense. So I'm going to counter animate the foot. So I'm going to move it forward a little bit until um, until the toe doesn't move. Okay, so it's still going backwards. Um, okay, now it's actually going forwards. So we've gone too much. Okay, we're getting, we're getting quite close. And what I want to do essentially is to make sure that the toes don't move. So I'm going to select that root controller Z curve and I'm going to zoom into that keyframe and I'm going to play around I think with this one I should pull it back um, okay so it's still going backwards so I'll push it forward a little bit um, okay we're getting closer so the toe is not really moving there um, so it's still going backwards so I'm going to move it a little slightly forward and just a little bit more so it's hardly noticeable that the toe moves backwards at all. Okay, so I'm, I've counter animated the foot slightly. Okay, good. So that foot is now stuck in place when the when the uh, over that keyframe. Okay. Now here comes the trick. So we take the the root controller. We need to linear key these two keyframes, these two, and then we need to cycle them with an offset. So you can go to curves, post infinity, cycle with offset, curves, pre infinity, cycle with offset, or just press these two buttons here on the graph editor in Maya. And then the foot will stick on the ground as it moves forward. And you might be thinking, well, I've done it. Wow, Jono, what an amazing instructor. Sure, he's taught me everything in just one second. But it's not the case. <laughs> I wish it was that easy. Uh, let's work on the let me show you why it's not working because on the back feet they are traveling at a different space 
So what that means is that from, from here to where it contacts again the foot on the front and from the back to where it's contacted this foot, the distance might be different in terms of the actual distance that the feet have traveled. Okay, So that means that the speed that when the foot went from there backwards will be different to the speed that the foot went from there to that, that keyframe. That's why they're not lining up perfectly and they're still sliding some of them. So we'll look at like the back right leg here. And now we need to work on the foot itself and not the root controller. Okay. So let's select the, um, uh, the Z curve. So that's where we're moving. We're moving in the Z axis backwards. And let's have a little look at, um, let me just uh, correct this viewport at the moment because it's, it's just uh, taking on some stuff. So that should be all right. Hold on a second. Okay, we're back. So sorry, uh, just unlinking the lights. Cool. So now this back leg, we want to take the curve itself the whole curve and we're going to be using the region tool scale tool up here on the graph editor and we're going to try and play around when that foot is also in contact on the ground and try and figure out so we're on this this curve right and try and figure out by scaling up and down what would be the distance that it would need to exactly travel on so let me just select this and push it up let's see if maybe going up increases it increases the stickiness and it does which is good <laughs> so up was a good choice and i think we might have gone a little too far there yeah so we'll come back a bit and that was quite good let me just soften that okay so we want to get close into the into the frame and just try to line up the toe Okay, so something something like this should be fine. There's a little bit of sliding, but I mean you can play you can play with the bottom curve too. And then that will just stick it to the ground there. Okay. Good. Then we can move on to uh, this foot here and do the same. So I'll just select this controller and we're gonna frame it when it lands, that would be nice. So here. I have to increase my timeline now, so I've got 100 frames or something because we're working at the back in the beginning, so if I play it, it's just gonna the, the viewport will snap It'll, because it's on walking on the spot so I'm just gonna increase the timeline on the floor on the, on the time slider and I'm gonna play around with this one when we have contact, so here okay, so let's go I think we went up earlier, so let's go up again I think that's actually made it worse. Uh, let's try the bottom one. Let's drag that back. Okay, maybe go up a bit. Wow, it's quite a it's quite a lot of a move there. Mm, let me just go back again and. Let's try and shorten the distance. It actually slides more. Okay, cool. So we know we have to go up now. Okay, there we go. So as it lands, it's uh, starting to just sit in that position. Tweak it a little bit there. Okay, so the toes are just more or less staying in, in one place. And for the benefit of the tutorial, and I'm not going to spend so much time t uh, telling you all the fine details about that, I think. Uh, that sort of nails it on the head. You can just fine tune this. And then we have this controller here on the translation of Z. Let me just frame you. And you're also sliding. So same, same. Select this curve. And when you're on the floor, we can, I think we have to decrease this one, I think. Let's try and lower it a bit. Okay, no, that doesn't work. Let's go up a bit. It's too much. Down a bit, maybe. It's too little. Okay, so we were nearly there. It's getting there. We just have to maybe zoom in a bit. Oops. I 
think we've gone too far again. Yeah. Let's go down a bit. Okay, so it's a bit of fiddling around. There are other hot um there are other plugins and things you can buy online to to that do this automatically for you, but it's uh you know, if you just wanted to know how to do it then this is fine. So see, I think over that frame, these frames here, the toes are not moving. So I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Good. And that's it. But last but not least, now that we've increased or decreased some of the uh, actual s scales of these of the Z curve, we might get into a situation where you're locking a joint. So let's say for this, this, this controller, if I had pushed up too much here, it would have locked the elbow out of joint. And the solution is not to select the first controllers and bring them down because what you're doing then is you're, you're changing that speed again. So that's not going to work. It's going to slide again. So once you've got the speed to work, then you just have to actually take the whole position of where, where the foot is going there and back and there and back and just shifting it around. So either it goes, starts to here to here or here to here. You just move it backwards and forwards by taking the whole curve and moving that as one piece. Okay, don't try and change this curve at now at this point. Um, okay, so I think I pretty much nailed it. I was uh, checking it earlier and I didn't think it would work so well in this case, but yeah. We do have maybe an overextended back leg here. I think for sure this is sort of overextending a little bit and you can just soften the exit out. Uh, a bit more well, the foot as it's coming off the ground it shouldn't maybe slide so much um yeah okay so it is sliding but it's something you can tweak and on the other foot more or less the same okay and then you have a dog walking forward i guess on the spot so off it goes bloop, bloop, bloop. and yeah there we go i think that pretty much sums it up for you. There are, yeah, I'm seeing the sliding on this foot here quite badly, actually, here on this foot. I don't like that, so I'm just gonna quickly go in and check why that's happening. So if I go back to the graph, we're here, contact, and then we have this release. So it's this key, this whole block here, okay. Okay, so I could take that whole curve and maybe scale it in and move this earlier and up. Just ease out of this key a little, a little, a little nicer. Let me just unlock the tangent. Okay, and then just maybe round it off. And then that's sort of fixing, fixing that part there. So it's not sliding so much back at that frame. Okay. So yep. That's it, off he goes into wherever they're supposed to go, <laughs> dogs. <laughs> okay, um, I hope that's answered some of your questions and helped out a lot of animators come up with the, the solution of to moving your characters off the root controller uh, or the ground or actually just making it walk forward in space. Okay. If you like this video, please don't hesitate to like and subscribe. It's actually our channel's growing because we're um, we're getting a lot of students to um, we're, we're bringing in a lot more tips and things, and we're giving a lot more away with the channel. So um, please, if you feel like this is deserved of a like, it doesn't take long. Just go ahead and give us a like, and even comment below. Below might be nice. Cool. See you in the next lesson.